Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Chuck the FNG here, and I am back a little bit more WWE 2K20, my career mode. Um, just went through, did a bunch of the My Player Tree stuff for both of them. Uh, Travis is currently a 72 overall strong style, while Wheeler Wells is also a, uh, well not also, but is a 70 overall luchador. So we're going to continue on with My Career Chapter 11. Last time we were here, we had a little cutscene with The Miz, who uh, popped out and said we all suck at acting, so... Uh, at least that's uh, that's how I see it. That's the way I uh, I remember it. Yeah, it hasn't been too long since I've played this. I actually recorded yesterday. I, I get, I'm kind of deciding to try to get as much of this done as fast as possible. Uh, not not that I want to uh, finish it off really quick, but I, I kind of do. I've got a lot of stuff on my plate right now. Plus, we have two new messages we should probably look at. Oh, she's never, uh... Alright. There, there's, uh, there's no sound on this one. I really don't want to read this. Oh, I don't know why you never picked up my pickup when I called, but anyway, quick status update on my end. As you probably know, since I'm assuming you obsessively follow my career, I've been champion in my weight class for like three years now, and honestly, it's getting a little boring. I think I might start to look for some new challenges. You know, something that would really show the world how talented I am. I mean... I think I could pretty much be the best at anything I tried, like other sports, obviously. Music, interior design, scave, spel scave. cave spelunking, cartography, building rockets, fashion design, fashion modeling, dog training, experimental experimental gene therapy, improv comedy. I'm improving this whole list. Competitive fishing. Uh, I guess that falls under sports. Web design, stock brokering, book authoring, children's book authoring. That's separate. Cooking, spelling bees. Oh, making honey with bees. Human resource policy implementation, bridge construction. Anyway, the possibilities are endless. You just never know where you might see me next. Well, I think we have an idea. Lita, if you keep beating everyone on Raw, maybe you'll have to come out of retirement. Actually, that sounds like a, sounds like way too much work. Keep it up. Let's talk to Bianca Belair. Instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Yeah. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I shall accept. I'll see you in the ring. I better not lose, because that would suck. This might have to be a five-star match. It just might have to be. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I should have turned the music on, and then just dealt with the copyright issues afterwards. That's not going to happen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. That is a pretty belt, I'll say that. She calls her All right. We have done the skippage. I should have declined her challenge. Introducing the challenger. Jeez, that belt's huge. Tennessee, Bianca Belair. And introducing the champion from Nebraska, the Raw Women's Champion, Wheeler Well. Are they booing me? We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. I 
Since winning the Raw Women's Championship, Red has defended her title against all challenges. Star Fan. Oh. This is the first time, however. Oh, yes, we do have a. Uh, with the athleticism of Bianca Belair. Okay. This is a. This is. Possibly a five star match. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for We can work on that. How dare you? This one's about the women's championship. That wasn't very nice. Means more to these women than that title. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, kick right in the gut in the corner. This is not All right. what she wants to be, Michael. I can tell you that. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean You're to do that. Monday, I meant to go up. Raw. Oh well. All right. Down <laughs> they go. Corey, how exactly can an opponent compete against Bianca Belair's impressive athleticism? Well, the EST emanates confidence. Well, if her opponent might as well do it out here now. Stronger, faster, tougher, or better for just one second, it's going to shake Belair. No it's variety. Going to be easy to make a crack in now, if, I, if it looks like I'm going to lose this, I will just, I will Bring take the count out. The I will roll out and just. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll hit her with the chair. Why not? Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, and the baddest <laughs> around. Oops. Are those hey. lipstick marks Snap suplex. The going up her back? Shaken. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Dominating cross there body. We go. She seems to have gained the advantage here. The momentum is clearly turned to her favor. All the way for the top. Body ah. on body. Wow. Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? Absolutely not, Saxton. Just ask top NXT stars like Candice LeRae or Lacey Evans if it was Belair's All right. ego that beat them. Those were cases of We're, get, we're getting closer and closer. We will get a at least four star match out of this. Here with a little signature. Uh -oh. no. All right. The championship hanging in the balance. Is, is there not a the attack when she's on the ground? Yeah, it's just a. It's just a good old fashioned elbow drop. Oh, I wanted to do, but it works. Time to sit up now. That'll turn your lights out. <laughs> Stomping. Ouch. Man, not sure how much more Bianca Belair can take. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. We continue to see incredible What can I do to your feet? From these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to Just give an inch. A good old butt stomp. Uh-oh. She's not reversing anything, which is what I worry about. I'm going to try to get as many finishers as I can. Oh, there we go. And no luck against Bianca Ooh. Belair there. That wasn't good. Oh, look at that scoop slam. Where are you going? Oh, no. All right. Are you really? Oh, on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Suplex, and she heads to the floor. <laughs> Probably looking to take a few deep breaths. Think about her next move. Oh wow! Frankensteiner, <laughs> nice. All right. Not what I wanted to do, but. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Three. What an elbow drop. There's the elbow drop. Four. 
This doesn't look good, guys. Go ahead and do what we can here. Well, the champ to the top turnbuckle. Doesn't look like she's getting up anytime soon. Oh. Bianca Belair there. <laughs> I feel like that was worth it. Yeah. Mm, nope. Uh-oh. You can take, take that beast mode and shove it up your ass. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. <laughs> Get, get in. She's catching up. She's <laughs> oh, it's it's almost gone. <laughs> uh oh. Drop oh, well, she got me. Now what was going on here? Oh, I I could leave. I'm not doing that. All right, let's get my stamina back. One hell of a signature there. All right, three and a half stars. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. Do I have another one here? Look at this. Nah, it's the same thing. From the top. Incredible impact. Uh oh. Oklahoma slam. Well, that's her first offense in a while. How dare you? Just a step quicker. Okay. We're getting closer and closer to uh turn around. The heads. Oh, is this a submission? No. <laughs> it might have been. Four star, there we go. Alright. Now now we can go for it. I think. I feel like we're going to get a whole lot more experience or or something if we get the five star. I still don't know what the point is, to be honest. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Ooh. You bitch. Great technical prowess from Bianca Belair. Reverses. Can she take advantage? She's in control. Put her in the corner. Someone puts baby in the corner. Salt. I feel like the only thing she's calling for it. I'm kind of missing right now is a couple finishers. Oh, looks like we're gonna see it. Selena Del Sol. Looks like the champ. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her. All right, that doesn't actually get me anything else. I wish it did. It does not. But what it does do... Shooting star splash. Goes into the pin. There's two! She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Okay. I'm fine, then. Let's do some dirty shit. Up you go. Through the corner I put you. Oh, stomp it away. Boom! <laughs> She's looking relentless now. She's fighting hard and reaping the rewards. All right, let's go ahead and set you up here. She's really taking For a kick. Set here. up again. And you can't argue with the results. And then let's face ya.
Oh no. Great technical prowess from Bianca okay. Belair. Okay. Got that. She ducks out of the way there. What no. energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. Finally hit that. Pick her up again. Put her in another corner. Okay, never mind. I'll go in there. Mm. Oh, on the apron. I, I didn't need that. The ring. Bam, suplex. I don't know what this ability does, but I'm actually kind of scared well, to find out. Uh -oh. A little signature. Roll over. Wrong way, but I guess this works. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Okay? In front of her now. Just sending a message there. Stomped her right in the titty. All right, set up. Let's do a little kneeling. See how fucking ridiculous this is to try to get the. Um... Ooh, try to get five stars. I mean, yeah, I could let her do a little bit more offense, but what kind of stupid, Boom. what kind of stupid idiot would do that? Oh. Oh, are you are you tonight. going to pin me? Cover for the it's pretty funny. But. And another kick out. Fighting drama. Can I roll out? She's gonna she's gonna hit me with a finisher. She did. I was right. <laughs> I took her from her. Coot poot. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Boom! What a forearm! Oh, kick right to the gut. She's in a bad way here. All right, we haven't done a suicide dive yet. Even though I find them ridiculous. <laughs> look at that pylon. Move variety. We're halfway to a five-star match. We're gonna get there, and it will be a 20-minute match. Okay, I guess I'm going in. Gets out of dodge there. There we go. Uh oh. Signature touch. For the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are. She wants it one more time. There we go. Oh no. The champ will stay champ. The situation just got real bad. He's going to do it again. Oh no. All right, she reversed one. signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. She reversed one. She's going to pin me. Get out of here. That was that was close. That was close. Don't you do it. Oh, saw it coming. <laughs> Not the uppercut. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> and the referee starts his touchdown. Back inside. I don't know what your plans are, but they're not good. All right. She's licking her chops. She knows that she has to do this. Give me the pin. Give me the pin. Goodness. Now that is why they're the champ. How much more can they endure? The there we go. Five star match. A little, uh, little lengthy. Just trying to hit all the moves. Crash the game.